Hey, Viking fans, it's time to talk about a future Hall of Famer next in three, two, one. <laughs> Gather around, Skull Brothers and Sisters. This is Skull World, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. Make sure you hit subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Get me to 50 likes. That pushes the video over the top, gets it going, gets it out there. I appreciate it. Hey, we got Skull Fest coming up September 9th in Minnesota, Northeast Palace. I think it's like 7 o'clock. Let's go. Let's Skull. Meet all your YouTubers on... Uh, Purple and Skull Media, I'm um, part of. Let's go. Let's go. Go Vikings. Hey, let's talk about Harrison Smith. Yes, I said it. Feature Hall of Famer. Why? Because all his numbers match up with Troy Polamalu, and he was like, surefire Hall of Famer. All right? True story. Go look it up. True story. More tackles. More picks. You know, turnover machine. Troy Polamalu was a great player, and so was Harrison Smith. Now, you're going to look at Troy Palmalu, and you're going you're gonna to see a Super Bowl, and you're not going to see one with Harrison Smith. So that that's where you look differently. But I'm going to talk about, you know, I'm going to talk about Harrison Smith and what he means to the Minnesota Vikings. On that defense, he's going to mean everything. And that secondary, he's going to mean everything. Harrison Smith, when he was out, the safeties looked lost last year, looked terrible. When he is in, they looked good. They looked better, in, at least, at, at minimum, better. Ed Donatil did not do him justice, and just recently, his peers decided to overlook how bad the coaching on defense was last year and say he's a top 100 player in the NFL. Was he, 34? Harrison Smith, 35, I forget. Harrison Smith, you know, when we drafted him, I'm like, good timing. We knew this, he's a good player. I remember him getting recruited out of high school. I was living in Nashville, Tennessee. He's in Knoxville, and he was going to Notre Dame. I'm, I, I would, at the time, I was following both the Gophers and Notre Dame. I grew up with Notre Dame on television, NBC, out every day or every Saturday, so I got to see Notre Dame a lot, just like I got to see an ESPN. I got to see Georgetown basketball a lot, so, you know, I was a fan of the Kimmy Matumbo and others and all and Allen Iverson and stuff like that. But, and the choices got immense, and I just settled back liking the Gophers again, you know? I just uh, liking the Gophers. Mom is from Minnesota. But back then, I was following Notre Dame, uh, pretty religiously, and I saw he was recruited as an athlete because he played offense and he played defense. And we, in just interviews, just said he liked hunting people rather than being hunted. Kind of player I like. He's a man of few words in all action. Man of few words in all action. Paul Malu hair got the shampoo commercials. He's still, still today being a spokesman for that hair um, shampoo commercial. Harrison Smith, man, man, a few words and all action and even better. He has endeared, he endeared himself to this team because he's taken less money even to be a Viking. Not many people do this in the NFL. I've said it over and over again. Minnesota Vikings are a destination franchise and players want to play. Players want to stay. With your Minnesota Vikings, our ownership, our coaching staff, the players we select have been better as far as um, character and and just the locker room leadership. They overcame a Zimmer. They overcame a well. They you know rebelled against Childress, but this team went through Zimmer without saying a thing, and then he left, and they refocused and won thirteen games. That's what that's what this locker room has. It has players like Harrison Smith that led us through these rough times. 
2017 was great, man. We had a great defense. Harrison Smith was part of that. He was his best, one of his best years. Even got a vote, a few votes for NFL Defensive Player of the Year. And we all know 2018, we still had a good defense, stepped back a little bit, but then, a, you know, 19, still okay. 20 bad, 21 bad. 22, historically bad. 21 and 22 were both historically bad. I give the edge of the 22. But Harrison Smith, man, he's weathered the storm, and he's going to come out dry, high and dry, man. He's weathered the storm. The And the person that's going to navigate the final leg of that is Brian Flores, man. Brian Flores going to be aggressive. I already said Harrison Smith's going to have five sacks this year. That'll be more than any time in his career. I just think he's going to be used that way. Let's 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 a little blast from the past to Harrison Smith. Let's do that. This is him. Might be junior high. He might be younger than that. You know, I can't. I, it's hard when you get older. You it's hard to tell how young somebody is. But that's either Pop Warner or his like first year in junior high, like a seventh grader. Who knows? He looks like fifth or sixth grade though. Um. But uh, that's great. And he was 22 back then. He's 22 now, which is awesome. And we got him in high school. What a beast. I don't know if I could have played against a guy like that in high school. That's, that's, I played against one NFL player. I never got hit by him. Uh, I never got hit by him. So thank God. He was a linebacker. Um, here we go. This is probably the photo he wants out of there. This is probably his worst photo. Look at that hairstyle. And no, I, if he's like going to Notre Dame or he's at Notre Dame, but you know that that hairstyle had to go. Good choice, <laughs> very good choice. But that's the guy. That's the guy I knew watching Notre Dame football. What a beast! He got drafted in the first round, and the cool thing about it is we wanted him so bad that we didn't talk to him, so no one would know that we were going after him. That's pretty cool. That's a Spielman trick where he, if he really likes a player, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't tell him and he drafts him. Harrison Smith, man, what a, what a staple to this defense. He's weathered the storm. He's the, virtually the only one who did. They're all gone. You could say Daniil Hunter, but he's not as old as Harrison Smith. But with Harrison Smith in that backfield, I feel better. He's, he, he if, this is his year to stamp, to put a stamp on his path to, to Canton. It's a stamp. Get those sacks, get those picks, get those turnovers. Lead this team to a respectable defense. Let's win a championship. That'll do it for sure. But Harrison Smith, he may not be considered a first ballot Hall of Famer, but talent-wise he is. He's just he's just a, a you know a sturdy, dependable player, but playmaker. He's a playmaker on top of it. Never too far down. Never too far up. Always there. Always around the ball. So smart. Gamer. He's he's a hitter. Wants to destroy people. He entered this league being kicked out of games. He's played smart since then. Harrison Smith is all we ever wanted in a player, and we got him. And the, that guy is going to be in the ring of honor, no problem. He's the Vikings Hall of Fame, no problem. The, the Hall of Fame better knock on this guy's door. And to this and the stamp getting put on the envelope this year, 2022, this is him as a Viking man. He got the honor running out of the, you know, running out with the American flag that game. I'm proud of him. I, I love to see things like this. I'm put the flag, you know, wear your flag on your sleeve. This might get somebody canceled today. This this might be get somebody canceled today. I love seeing this pick all the time. I use it all the time. Harrison Smith, man, what a stud. Now, here's 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 what I put as the thumbnail. Harrison Smith, 946 tackles, 34 picks, 
16 and a half sacks, four TDs, six Pro Bowls, two All Pros. And honestly, he got screwed out of some Pro Bowls. Might have got screwed out of some All Pros. This is this is still still great. This is still great. And he got votes for um, Defensive Player of the Year as a safety. Who sees that? Who sees that? The only guy that's been better, and he's leading, I think he's current leader um, career-wise in INTs of uh, active players. So that's something. Amazing stats. All right. here As a rookie, man, what a way to come out of the gate. Three picks, 104 tackles, second most in his career. Two TDs as a rookie. That's insane. That's insane. Then uh, 2013, he stepped back. He got, you know, apparently injured. 16 games and 14. You know, the, what is this? Uh, yeah, five picks in 2014. Five picks in 2017. The sacks, there was a couple sacks here and there all through the season, all through the years. 114 tackles in 2021, 83 of them solo. That's how bad our defense has been is that he had to set an NFL record or his personal record for uh, tackles. That's insane. Last year, 85, missed a couple, missed three games. This year, I don't think he's going to get the tackles. I think he's going to get more of the splash plays, uh, a pick, a uh, fumble recovery, uh, a strip sack, you know, things like that. That's why I said five sacks, and I'm not talking about interceptions because I don't know. I think he's going to be up at the line. I think he's going to be attacking. Tackles for loss, you know, things like that. There was a season where he had 16 tackles for losses, and that's, uh, I think, the 2017 season, and I think that's when he was um, had player, you know, player of the year, uh, defensive player of the year votes. Man, Harrison Smith, what a stud. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Harrison Smith, yay or nay, Hall of Fame. Let's go. Let's go. Hit like. Give me the 50 likes. Skull Fest, September 10th. Be there. Cue the music. (laughs) 